More cold air is on the way. Highs today technically improved to the mid 20s, but after today's cold front, more of that frigid Arctic air is going to spill back into the tri state. And you know, yesterday that led to an egg experiment. But how about bubbles? When it comes to it getting this cold, my daughter and I had a little bit of fun yesterday afternoon and check out the video. So we made our own bubble mixture, okay. took it outside. And I will tell you, this is better than the pre-made bubbles from the store because they're thicker. Okay. Took it outside and see how they turn kind of oh, yeah. Yeah, hazy looking. Yeah, yeah. So they're frozen. Oh, I see. They're frozen. Oh, they like, wow. you could like cut through it. Oh with my. the straw, kind of you can actually looking. see the crystal structure. So if you're looking for an experiment to do with the kids, this is actually really easy to do. And here's what it takes. I will tell you the bubbles from the store don't work. Not so much. They're, okay. they're just not thick enough. So this is all you need. You need water, Caro syrup and Dawn dish detergent. Any okay. particular recipe? Or? Um, so it's three cups of water to one cup of Dawn to a half cup of Caro. Okay. I cut it all in half. I didn't need that much, yeah. but it makes a solution that and you take that outside and it's gonna and you take it outside they're thicker okay but watch out for the breeze because if there's if it's windy it'll cut right through all your bubbles and they'll never never get the chance to actually gotcha. Gotcha. okay but you know if you've got little kids I know my six-year-old is obsessed with experiments <laughs> right now <laughs> there you go it's fun it's science it's cleaner freezing. than slime too yeah. it is although I made a mess on the you did today that's okay that's all right all right we we something to do today like cabin thank fever. you <laughs> all right Jennifer thank you so much